Payless Markets has received a million dollar tax credit, still in effect today, to build a soccer stadium. And this rubs at least one senator the wrong way. Judy Guthard spoke out at a Gutierrez Ugin pocket meeting in Inarahan last night. I don't think that's right. No. That's why this government is broke. This government is broke because we're giving too much money away to special interests. The Office of Public Accountability asked the governor and the legislature to revoke the pay less tax credit because, one, there was no evidence that the tax credits received by Payless were earned because of a lack of documentation for the fund matching requirement. Two, a potential breach of conduct by former Gita administrator Andy Giordano for authorizing nearly $400,000 in credits to Payless just before he began working for their parent company, Calvo Enterprises. And three, in the OPA's opinion, in the arrangement, Payless could double dip their tax benefits due to a tax loophole. According to the audit, the IRS expressly prohibits this double benefit in its tax publications. For one, they pay gross receipts taxes, a company pays gross, gross receipts taxes, but then they participate in the tax credit program. So there's one tax benefit. That's, a benefit for the, that's their benefit for participating in the, the program. The other thing that we saw, and because the Guam Football Association is a nonprofit organization, anytime a company or a individual makes a charitable contribution to their organization, they're able to apply that to their their taxes and get another tax benefits. Why should Payless Markets get a benefit like that when the owners of your vintage stores don't get any kind of benefits like that? It's not right and we cannot afford it and it has to stop. Public Law 2785 authorized $1 million in, in business privilege tax credits for the construction of a comprehensive soccer stadium. Those tax credits were awarded solely to Payless Markets. Today, Newswatch visited the GFA site. There is no stadium, and according to GFA staff, they're not going to build a comprehensive soccer stadium either, only soccer fields.